This is the Music History Today podcast for October 21st. On today's show, Madonna pushes the envelope again and Michael Jackson organizes. First up, though, on this date in 1908, the first double-sided vinyl record went up for sale. It was from Columbia Records. In 1958, Buddy Holly and the Crickets recorded for the final time together. It was at Pythirian Temple Studios in New York City. Their last time playing together was a week later on October 28th. In 1976, Keith Moon played his last gig with The Who. It was at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. In 1992, Madonna released her sex book a day after releasing her erotica album. In 2001, Michael Jackson organized the United We Stand charity concert to help victims of the September 11th attacks. In 2011, the FBI listed fans of the insane clown posse called the Juggalos as a gang. And in 2019, rapper Nicki Minaj married her childhood friend Kenneth Petty. In classical music in 1858, Jacques Offenbach had the premiere of his opera Orpheus in the Underworld. And in 1944, Walter Piston's piece Fugue for a Victory Tune was performed for the first time in America. In theater in 1907, the musical The Merry Widow premiered on Broadway. In 1961, the musical Another Evening with Harry Stone's co-starring Barbara Streisand opened. In 1971, the musical To Live Another Summer opened on Broadway. And in 1972, the musical Man of La Mancha closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 21st in 1975, Elton John received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2010, the town of Columbia, South Carolina, unveiled a statue to the band Hootie and the Blowfish. And in 2020, Carrie Underwood and Luke Bryan were among the big winners at the Country Music Television Music Awards. Albums that were released on October 21st include in 1966 when Manfred Mann released As Is. In 1970, Bob Dylan released New Morning. In 1971, Stevie Wonder released Stevie Wonder's Greatest Hits Volume 2. In 1975, Mike Oldfield released Amadon. In 1977, Meatloaf released Bad Out of Hell, his big debut album that became one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Also, the Beatles released Love Songs and Genesis released Seconds Out. In 1981, Bobby and the Midnights released their self-titled album. In 1985, Simple Minds released Once Upon a Time and Jethro Tull released Original Masters. In 1986, Weird Al Yankovic released Polka Party. In 1987, Steve Winwood released his greatest hits album, Chronicles. In 1988, Tiffany released Hold an Old Friend's Hand. In 1990, Don Dawkin released Up From the Ashes. In 1997, Artensian released Phoenix Rising. The Psychedelic Furs released Should God Forget Retrospective. Grand Funk Railroad released Bosnia and Yes released Keys to Ascension 2. In 2003, The Crying Shames released the very best of The Crying Shames. The Allman Brothers Band released The Allman Brothers Band live at the Atlanta International Festival July 3rd and 5th, 1970. The Eagles released the very best of The Eagles. Little Feet released Kicking It at the Barn. Van Morrison released What's Wrong with This Picture. And Rush released Rush in Rio. In 2011, Tom Waits released Bad as Me. Bob Dylan released Pure Dylan. In 2012, Bob Dylan released The Real Bob Dylan. In 2013, Motorhead released Aftershock. In 2014, Jerry Garcia Band released Garcia Live Volume 5. In 2016, Leonard Cohen released his final album, You Want It Darker. In 2022, Taylor Swift released Midnights, which broke Spotify's record for the most streams in a day. The person whose record she broke was, well, Taylor Swift. She originally set that record in 2021 when she released Red, Taylor's version. Singles that were released in the UK on October 21st include in 1966 when the Yardbirds released Happening Ten Years Time Ago. In 1977, The Jam released The Modern World and in 1981, Crowded House released Fall at Your Feet. 
Meanwhile, in America, in 1958, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released One Night and I Got Stung. In 1969, Janis Joplin released Cosmic Blues. In 1974, Queen released Killer Queen. In 1980, Bruce Springsteen released Hungry Heart. In 1986, Janet Jackson released Control. In 1991, U2 released The Fly and Genesis released No Son of Mine. In 1995, R.E.M. released Tongue. In 1996, Tony Braxton released Unbreak My Heart. And in 1997, Donna Lewis and Richard Marks released At the Beginning. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 21st include jazz great Dizzy Gillespie, the queen of salsa Celia Cruz, rapper Doja Cat, country music singer Kane Brown, Charlotte Caffey of the Go-Go's, Brian Pittman of Reliant K, John Karen of Pink Floyd, Matthew Freidberger of the Fiery Furnaces, Steve Lukather of Toto, Eric Faulkner of the Bay City Rollers, musician Julian Cope, Brent Midland of the Grateful Dead, Manfred Mann of Manfred Mann's Earth Band, Steve Cropper of Booker T and the MGs, guitarist Elvin Bishop, Norman Wright of the Dell Vikings, Ron Elliott of the Bo Brahmos, Lux Interior of the Cramps, Tetsu Yamauchi of the Faces, Lee Lonchnain of Chicago, Kathy Young of Kathy Young and the Innocents, Jimmy Beaumont of the Skyliners, singer Dickie Pride, singer Dean Lewis, rapper Yella Beezy, rapper Pop Hanna, and country music singer Mel Street. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 21st include composer Henry Laws, who passed away in 1662 at the age of 66. Composer Johann Hartmann passed away in 1793 at the age of 66. Composer Franz Tabor passed away in 1810 at the age of 52. Composer Paul Kaczynski passed away in 1897 at the age of 50. Composer Jose Villar passed away in 1905 at the age of 69. Composer Sven Corling passed away in 1919 at the age of 77. Blues guitarist Barbecue Bob passed away in 1931 at the age of 29. Pianist Dick Twartzik passed away from drug issues in 1955 at the age of 24. Bassist Bill Black passed away from a brain tumor in 1965 at the age of 39. Singer and actress Mary McDonald passed away from drug issues in 1965 at the age of 42. Singer-songwriter T.V. Slim Wills passed away in a car accident in 1969 at the age of 53. Composer Ferret Tuzzin passed away in 1977 at the age of 48. Country music singer Mel Street, the aforementioned country music singer Mel Street, passed away from mental health issues in 1978 on his 43rd birthday. Jazz singer Rodka Tonoff passed away from drug issues in 1982 at the age of 30. Maxine Andrews of the Andrews Sisters passed away from heart issues in 1995 at the age of 79. Shannon Hoon of Blind Melon passed away from drug issues in 1995 at the age of 28. Pioneering radio disc jockey Frankie Hollywood Crocker of WBLS Radio in New York City passed away from cancer in 2000 at the age of 62. Singer-songwriter Elliot Smith passed away from mental health issues in 2003 at the age of 34. Composer Renee Gerber passed away in 2006 at the age of 98. Sandy West of the Runaways passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 47. Paul Fox of the Ruts passed away in 2007 at the age of 56. Musician Edmundo Ross passed away in 2011 at the age of 100. Singer Tyson Stevens of the Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, passed away in 2014 at the age of 29. 
Drummer Viola Smith passed away in 2020 at the age of 107. The conductor of the Concertgebouw from 1961 to 1988, also the London Philharmonic from 1967 to 1979, and the Royal Opera Covent Garden from 1987 to 2002. Bernard Haytink passed away in 2021 at the age of 92. And Swedish rapper Nils Gronberg was shot and killed in 2021 at the age of 19. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 22nd, when in 1992, rapper 21 Savage was born, and in 1998, rapper Roddy Rich was born. 